Hello and welcome to Prep Eve, where we revolutionize how you prepare for IELTS. I'm back with the guided reading practice series and today we'll be discussing matching heading questions. So let's get started and understand the step-by-step -step approach that you need to follow to crack this particular type of question. So first and foremost, you have to read the instructions of the question carefully. This applies to all types of questions, be it in your listening test or your reading test. You have to read the instructions carefully. Number two is that you have to go through the list of headings. Now you will be given a list of headings. There could be seven to ten headings. Sometimes there are twelve headings as well. So you have to go through the list of headings. You have to go through all the headings that are provided to you how do you go through them number three you have to underline the keywords in the list so there are certain keywords in the list that you have to underline and then predict predict the content of that paragraph okay what could be the content of the paragraph which has that particular heading so this has to be done in two to three seconds you don't have to think a lot because when it comes to prediction we are not guessing there's a different difference between guessing and predicting predicting is just trying to analyze or understand what could be the content of a paragraph that has that particular heading okay so you need to keep that in mind and don't spend a lot of time in predicting i'll be showing you how you can do that while we you know solve the question of the passage today okay number four quickly go through one paragraph at a time majorly focusing on the first few and last few sentences now here you need to understand one thing that you don't have to read two three paragraphs at a stretch you have to pick paragraph a read the paragraph skim through it focus on the first few lines and the last few lines and then go back to the list of headings repeat this with paragraph b paragraph c so on and so forth so pick one paragraph at a time okay pick one paragraph at a time this is really important and then look for the gist or the main idea of that particular paragraph ask yourself ye paragraph mujhse kehna kya chahta hai what is this paragraph trying to convey what is this paragraph trying to tell me what is the gist the main idea or the theme of this paragraph okay so you can ask yourself this question ye paragraph mujhse kehna kya chahta hai this will give you a lot of clarity you will not be stuck with one word or one sentence from the paragraph you have to understand the overall main idea okay what is the entire paragraph trying to convey okay so remember this thing while you are attempting matching heading questions you should not get fixated on one word one sentence or uh, one part of the paragraph you have to figure out what is the entire paragraph trying to tell you okay sixth is go back to the list of headings and start eliminating the options that are not suitable along with shortlisting the probable ones so here what you have to do is you have to read paragraph a go back to the list of headings okay after you have read one paragraph like that's mentioned here you have to go back to the list of headings and go through all the 12 or 10 headings that are given to you start eliminating ye nahi ho sakta ye nahi ho sakta answer ye nahi ho sakta so you have to eliminate that this cannot be the answer this cannot be the answer so certain options or certain headings you will be dead sure that this is not the answer to that particular paragraph you will be sure about it for certain headings you might be confused you are not sure whether that's the answer or not so that falls under the probable ones so you can write the prob probable ones separately Ki ye ho sakta hai. you know the maybe uh, headings that you're not very sure about you're confused you write the probable ones separately okay then you move on to paragraph b and repeat four five six with the next paragraph so you have to go through paragraph b understand what the content is saying what the paragraph is trying to convey to you and then you go back to the list of headings again read all the headings okay even if you are sure that answer of paragraph a is two okay heading number two 
don't miss out on reading it read it again probably it's more suitable for paragraph b who knows so just go through all the list of headings go through all 12 of them or 10 of them whatever the number is so please remember this you have to repeat the steps 4 5 6 for each paragraph c d e f so on and so forth okay so this is how you have to approach this question one thing i'll add here is that i mean i'm repeating myself but it's important and i have not written it on the slide so i just want to add it and that is you should not fixate on one word or one sentence in case of matching heading questions you have to look at the overall picture what is the entire paragraph trying to tell you please remember this this will help you in shortlisting or selecting the right answer last but not the least is that there will always be more headings than there are paragraphs or sections so some headings will not be used so there will be extra headings to confuse you those would act as distractors so don't uh, worry don't think that uh, you know i have to use all the headings the paragraphs would be lesser in number as compared to the heading so remember this part it's important and it has been picked up from the website that i dearly love so it's ielts.org whenever in doubt go to that website there are a lot of faqs that you can look into and there are a lot of uh, content there's a lot of content that's available there so go exploit that particular website it has all the authentic material okay so let's move on to solving a passage live right now so this is the question that i've picked up for you guys today and we'll be focusing on the step-by-step -step approach that we have learned and we'll be implementing it right now right here so the question says the text has seven paragraphs okay the text has seven paragraphs a till g choose the correct heading for paragraphs a b and d till g which means that they have already given the answer for paragraph c as an example from the list of headings below these are the list of headings that we have we have nine in this particular uh, case so there are nine headings that we have and we have to match it with seven paragraphs so as you can see the number of headings are more than the number of paragraphs and in this case we have two extra headings so two of the headings from this list would not be used in your answers okay so this is done and then let's move on This is your passage, Robots at Work. So you read the title and you get an idea. We have already taken care of this particular passage for another kind of question. If you have not seen that particular video, I'll be attaching the link for the same here. So you can go to that video and see those questions as well. Try to understand how we deal with different types of questions. So yeah. Let's go through the list of headings and predict what could be the content of the paragraph. The first one says robots working together. So this paragraph would talk about something that's working together or you know the machines that are working together or are working hand in hand. So something related to robots. Okay. Number two is preparing LGVs for takeover. So obviously this paragraph would talk about LGVs. So whenever we see LGVs in any paragraph, we can look into this particular heading. But we need to understand that they're talking about taking over something, preparing LGVs for takeover. So there could be certain paragraphs where they're talking about LGVs, but they're not talking about takeover. So this would not this wouldn't be the answer. This wouldn't be the answer to any of the paragraphs. So you have to keep in mind all the keywords in your heading looking ahead looking ahead would probably mean that you're looking towards the future you are thinking of what would happen in the next decade or in the next couple of years so looking ahead so you're planning something for the future so we have to look out for a paragraph wherein they are talking about future or what will happen in the long run or in a couple of years 
Fourth heading says the LGVs main function. So here also the keyword is LGVs, but in this paragraph they will talk about the main functions of LGVs. LGVs करते क्या हैं? What do they do? Fifth one says split location for newspaper production. So there are two locations. Split basically means two, right? Splitting. So two or more uh, locations for newspaper production. So any paragraph that is talking about the production of newspaper and also the location कहाँ पे हो रहा है okay so if they're talking about two places where the newspaper is being produced in that case this would be the heading so you're seeing how I'm predicting I'm not taking a lot of time I'm just reading the heading and thinking of what could be in the paragraph paragraph में क्या हो सकता है so I'm just predicting and it's hardly taking me two to three seconds I'm not uh, investing a lot of time here this is to just give me that thought process कि क्या हो सकता है what could be the content newspaper superseded by technology so superseded is dominated by technology or taken over by technology so newspaper superseded by technology so a paragraph that's talking about technology taking over newspapers instead of humans maybe technology is now uh, producing newspapers there's not there's not a lot of involvement of uh, human resource okay getting the newspaper to the printing center so taking the newspaper to the printing center so any paragraph that's talking about how the newspaper reaches the printing center is going to have this heading controlling the robots so any mention of how the robots are being controlled how are they being managed and last but not the least beware of robots so in this particular paragraph they would obviously uh, give us some disclaimers or precautions or maybe warn us about why robots are not that good or they might um, you know impact us negatively or adversely so beware dhyan rakhiye <laughs> so you need to keep these things in mind this hardly takes 2 minutes i have been explaining it to you so it takes longer but this can be done quickly within 1 to 2 minutes um, you know in your examination all also or even lesser it hardly takes a minute so once you're done with this we move on to the first paragraph so for the first paragraph we would just read the first paragraph and try to understand the main idea ye paragraph humse kehna kya chahta hai is what we'll be focusing on okay don't fixate on one word don't fixate on one sentence try to understand what is the entire paragraph trying to tell you overall okay so paragraph a the newspaper production process has come a long way from the old days when the newspaper was written edited typeset and ultimately printed in one building with the journalists working on the upper floors and the printing press going on the ground floor okay so they're talking about what happened in the olden days so pehle kya hota tha then we are coming to these days what happens now so olden days and these days sub editors and journalists who put the paper together are likely to find themselves in totally different buildings maybe even in different cities this is the situation which now prevails in sydney the daily newspaper is compiled at the editorial headquarters known as the pre press center editorial headquarters sydney just underline the words you think are important in the heart of the city but printed far away in the suburbs so printing happens somewhere else editorial headquarters are somewhere else so different cities different places uh, this should ring a bell please try to recollect we predicted certain things right so remember the predictions that we had uh, here human beings are in minority very less human involvement uh, as much our as much of the work is done by automated machines controlled by computers so we have gone through the paragraph we have a gist they're talking about old days new days and how in the olden days or uh, previously it, everything used to happen in one building now it's happening in different cities and also there's automation so let's go back to the list of headings and try to work through it First of all, robots working together. So far, have they spoken about whether robots are working together or not? My answer to this would be no. So this is not the answer. Easily eliminated, right? They have not talked about 
robots working together yes they've spoken about automation in the last sentence but they're not really talking about how they're working together nothing has been spoken about preparing lgvs there's no mention of lgvs and this is also not there looking ahead no men no mention of future they're talking about past and the present so nothing regarding the future is talked about then split location for newspaper production this could be the answer because they're talking about two different cities or different buildings wherein uh, one is the editorial headquarters and the other one is where the printing happens so this could be the answer then we move on to the next one newspaper superseded by technology there's no mention of that as well so far so this will not be the answer eliminated again getting the newspaper to the printing center this could be the one let's go back to the paragraph and just check quickly scan through it are they talking about this particular thing getting the newspaper to the printing center so there's mention of printing center here if you notice known as press uh, pre-press center in the heart of the city but are they talking about how we are reaching to the printing center no they're not mentioning anything related to that so this will again get eliminated if you're confused you can put it in the probable list so if you think that this could be the answer you can just write um, seven five as your probable answer corresponding to this so it could be the fifth one or the seventh one this is how you have to list down the probable ones you might not get the answer to certain paragraphs immediately so you write the probable answers there we are left with one more heading controlling the robots again there's no mention of that nothing about robots so th this again would not be the answer so the only probable options would be five and seven if you guys have any other probable answer you can leave it in the comment section below so that we can discuss it let's move on to the next paragraph now paragraph b so don't invest a lot of time in one paragraph alone move on if you're not able to find out the answer eliminate write the probable ones like we have written two probable answers here move on to the next one simple so paragraph b says once the finished newspaper has been created for the next morning's edition all the pages are transmitted transmitted electronically from the pre-press center to the printing center okay so here something is being transferred or transmitted so uh, remember we were confused with one of the options wherein they're talking about how to take the newspaper from the printing from the press to the printing center so this could be that one so pre-press center to the printing center the system of transmission is an update on the sophisticated page facsimile system already in use on many other newspapers so you can leave certain part of it you can go through the last few sentences uh, you don't have to read e read each and every line you can miss out on certain lines as well quickly scan through them because everything is not important an image setter at the printing center delivers the pages as films each page takes less than a minute to produce although for color pages blah 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 you can ignore this the pages are then processed into photographic negatives and the film is used to produce aluminium printing plates ready for the press so majorly if you notice in the first few lines they're talking about how the newspaper or all the pages are transmitted electronically from the pre-press center to the printing center so something is being transmitted or moved from one location to the other we repeat the task again we call the list of headings and try to eliminate the options that we are sure sure that this is not the heading for that particular paragraph b so robots working together again there's no mention of that no mention of lgvs no mention of looking ahead so we are not i mean these are not the answers definitely the first four are not the answers uh split location there's no mention of location here again and uh, newspaper superseded by technology there's no mention of superseding anything getting the newspaper to the printing center this seems to be the most probable answer according to me again there's no mention of robots in the paragraph b so eighth and ninth cannot be the answer so I'm just left with the seventh option. So I'll go and mark it as seven because there are no other probable answers. And if you notice here, seven can be eliminated for now. If you want to, you can eliminate it. And the answer for questions for paragraph A would become the fifth one. The answer to paragraph C is already given to us, which is the ninth one. Beware of robots. So we can eliminate this one. We don't even have to go through this one. Right. So... 
let's eliminate it you don't have to read this one moving on to paragraph d the robot's principal job so this paragraph is going to talk about the principal job what these robots do however is to shift the newsprint the printing paper that arrives at the plant and huge reels and emerges at the other end sometimes later as newspapers so this is what the robots do day's newspaper and the publishing order are determined at the head office the information is punched into the computer and the lgvs are programmed to go about their work so what do the lgvs do is mentioned here and we have certain headings that are talking about lgvs so we can shortlist them the lgvs collect the appropriate size paper reels and take them where they have to go when the press needs another reel its computer alerts the lgv system the sydney lgvs move busily around the press room fulfilling their two key functions so it's talking about two key functions to collect reels of newsprint either from the new either from the reel stripping stations or from the rack supplies in the newsprint storage area at the stripping station the tough wrapping that helps to protect a reel of paper from rough handling is removed any damaged paper is peeled off and the reel is then weighed so in this paragraph if you notice it clearly mentions that it's talking about the robot's principal job what do what do they have to do and the two key functions so what are these lgvs actually made for let's go back to the list of headings go through all the headings and start shortlisting and finding the answer eliminating the incorrect ones or the ones we think are not the answers the first one says robots working together this could be the answer because they they're talking about how these robots are working uh but not sure about the together part we can keep it as the probable answer lgvs for takeover they're not talking about takeover looking ahead again no mention of looking ahead the lgvs main function yes this could be the answer because they're talking about what the key functions are or the principal job is so we have uh two keywords that suggest the same thing and the entire paragraph is talking about the functions itself split location no newspaper superseded by the technology that's also not the case here getting newspaper to the printing center no, no mentions of that controlling the robots yes there are they're talking about robots but they're not talking about how to control them they're talking about the functions majorly or how they're working so the probable answers according to me would be one if someone's confused with two you can also write two though i don't think two is the answer and then we have uh, the fourth one the main functions so just let's just go back to the paragraph and write these as the probable answers 1 2 and 4 so i'll write it down here 1 2 and 4 later on we'll be shortlisting from this list as well let's read paragraph e now then one of the four pastor robots move in specifically designed for the job it trims the paper so what are they doing it trims the paper neatly prepares the reel for the press if required the reel can be loaded directly on to the press if not needed immediately and lgv takes it to the storage area so it's telling what lgvs do okay when the press computer calls for a reel and lgv takes it to the reel loading area reel loading area it lifts the reel into the loading position and moves it in the correct spot with the com with complete accuracy as each reel is used up the press drops the heavy cardboard core into a waste bin when the bin is full another lgv collects it and deposits the cores into a shredder for recycling so in this entire paragraph they're talking about four pastor robots and what all these four do so one of them takes the reel loads it onto the press that is the first one the second one will take uh, you know will basically load it in the position in the correct spot with complete accuracy the other one will drop it into the waste bin another one will collect it and deposit the cores into a shredder for recycling so they're talking about four robots and how they're functioning together yes here also they're talking about functions but they're also talking about how they're working together so the answer to this one is pretty clear it's the first one 
robots working together in case you are still doubtful between 1 and 4 because here also they're talking about the functions karte kya hain lgvs what are the lgvs uh what do the lgvs do so in that case you can mark 1 and 4 as the answer and go through the other options other headings i don't think any one of these fit i'm not going to read all the headings again i've already shown you how it needs to be done i'm not going to do it you can do it in your mind okay just quickly go through all the eight headings and start eliminating for for me the shortlisted ones would be 1 and 4 in this case and i'm pretty sure i'm 99% sure that the first one is the answer moving on to paragraph f the lgvs move at walking speed so the robots move at walking speed should anyone step in front of one or get too close sensors stop the vehicle until the path is clear so they have sensors they stop automatically if someone is too close to them the company has chosen a laser guide function system for the vehicles because as the project development manager says the beauty of it is that if you want to change the routes you can work out a new route on your computer and lay it down so they follow the path that you decide for them okay when an lgv's batteries run low it will take itself offline and go to the nearest battery maintenance point for the replacement of battery so they're automatic they know what needs to be done when the battery is low which path to follow so pretty automatic and all this is achieved with absolute minimum human input humans are not really involved in this case it's automatic they're doing it themselves and a much reduced risk of injury to people working in the printing center so the injury is also reduced because they don't have to i mean the humans don't have to interact with the machines let's go back to the list of headings and shortlist again so no mention of robots working together here preparing lgvs for takeover again there's no mention of that looking ahead no mention of future main functions no that's not the case we already have another paragraph that we focus on uh split location newspaper superseded by technology getting the newspapers to printing center controlling the robots so here the answer would be controlling the robots they're telling how the robots are controlled how you can control it using computers give them directions and you know how they can reach the batteries i mean how they can recharge their batteries and reach the battery uh, centers recharging centers so let's go back and have a look at this one again cross check it okay so change the route laser function system so that's the point for this one it will be the eighth one moving on to g the question newspaper workers must now ask however is how long will it be before the robots are printing the newspapers as well as running the printing center churning out the latest edition every morning so they're giving you a question here and that's about it for this paragraph let's go back to the options what are they saying here is there a futuristic angle in that particular paragraph g i can see it clearly because they are asking you must now ask however what will happen in the future how long will it be this means what will happen in the future before the robots are writing the newspaper so everything is getting automated they're basically asking you that question so here there is only one heading short short heading that is talking about the future and the answer to this particular one would be the third heading looking ahead so we can mark g as the third one okay now we are only confused in a couple of paragraphs we are sure about a we are sure about b c is already given to us let's look at d again so in d we are confused with 1 2 and 4 let's first read these headings robots working together are they talking about how they are working together hand in hand different machines together number 2 preparing lgvs for takeover are they mentioning anything related to taking over which means that the 
human involvement is cut to zero and the fourth one is main functions so we have to quickly skim through it and look look out for the main idea theme or the gist of this paragraph here they're talking about robots principal job principal job again is main function kya karte hain lgvs or the robots and here also if you notice they're giving you two key functions this entire part is also talking about functions this is also talking about functions lgv collect the appropriate size so if you notice in general it's talking about what the lgvs do so the answer to this one is clearly the main functions one cannot be the answer because they're not talking about working together two can also not be the answer because they're not talking about preparing lgvs we're not preparing lgvs or you know designing them in a way that they should take over something or take over the newspaper printing process or the production process so two is also not the answer we are left with four so the answer here would be the main functions moving on to e here we are confused with one and four so four is already taken for paragraph d so this will also not be the answer the answer is one how do we cross check it cross check it we would go to the list of headings again one is robots working together here just look out whether they are talking about different robots working together and making things possible yes that is what is happening here they are talking about four pastoral robots and how they work together one is doing one thing the second one is doing second third fourth so on and so forth so each sentence is basically describing how each of the four robots are working hand in hand so that becomes your answer f we are sure about it g again we are sure about it but i'll also discuss the sure ones with you just to give you clarity so for a fifth one is the answer fifth is split location for newspaper production here if you read the entire paragraph or even if you read the first few and the last few lines you will notice that in the olden days everything was happening together in one building whereas later on it has been uh, you know divided you are doing it in totally different buildings or even in different cities and then here they give you the example for that and they're giving you the explanation so the answer to this one is definitely the fifth one in case of b the answer is 7 which is getting the newspaper to the printing press here they're talking about how it is electronically transmitted you are not taking the hard copy from the pre press center to the printing center you are sending all the pages electronically from pre press center to the printing center and here again they're talking about the transmission process how does the transmission happen how is the transmission for black and white pages how is it for color pages how the photographic negatives or the films are used so they're talking about the transmission process here transmission process again means how things are moved from one place to another or how we are sending or getting the newspaper to the printing center so 7 becomes the answer to the question b or the paragraph b b we have already discussed moving on to f now here eighth is the answer controlling the robots so if you notice here they're talking about how the robots are controlled lgvs move at walking speed they have sensors so they stop so that is how it's been controlled in any case if they notice or if the sensors uh, you know feel that someone is around them close to them they would stop so that they don't bump into that person that particular rack or another lgv for that matter so this entire paragraph is basically talking about how they are controlled and how we can maneuver them how we can change their paths change their movement and their routes so that is what is being spoken about here g is pretty simple it's all, this is the only paragraph that is talking about the future in case if you have any doubts related to this question you can leave it down in the comment section below here i'll show you the strategy once again so that you can take a screenshot of this slide if you want to and you can also see how we have followed the step by step approach read the instructions carefully we read the instructions carefully we understood that the number of headings are more than the number of paragraphs then we went through all the list of headings we went through all the nine headings one of them was already uh, given as the answer to paragraph c so we eliminated it 
and then we underlined the keywords in the list for each and every heading and predicted the content of the paragraph don't take more than one to two seconds for each of the headings don't spend a lot of time in predicting there's a difference between predicting and guessing quickly go through one paragraph at a time you guys must be thinking that ma'am is reading the entire paragraph see if you have a good reading speed you can quickly read everything with major focus on the first few and the last few lines sometimes these sentences in between or in the center of the paragraph are not really important but if you have time i would still recommend that you read the entire paragraph don't spend a lot of time on each and every word but quickly go through it quickly go through one paragraph at a time majorly focusing on the first few and the last few sentences the content in the middle of the paragraph is sometimes not important however if you have time i would still suggest that you go through the entire paragraph quickly that will help you in understanding and if there are more questions attached to the same paragraph you will be able to attempt them properly look for the gist and the main idea this is one of the most important things do not fixate on one sentence or one word do not try to match the words that are given in your heading with the words in your passage please do not make this mistake and underline those sentences where you think that the gist is being talked about always ask yourself ye paragraph mujhse kehna kya chahta hai what is this paragraph trying to tell me once you ask yourself this question you'll understand okay paragraph d is majorly talking about the functions mujhe functions bataye ja rahe hain lgvs karte kya hain so kehna kya chahta hai that's clear to you that way you will be able to eliminate the irrelevant options or irrelevant headings and would come to the probable ones go back to the list of headings and start eliminating the options that are not suitable along with shortlisting the probable ones once you shortlist the probable ones you again have to recheck quickly that happens again in a minute or so once you're done with all the paragraphs you might be stuck with two or three paragraphs like in today's scenario and uh, today's passage we were confused with d and e majorly d and e we were confused with three probable answers so once you're done with all the paragraphs just go through those cross check read all the list of headings that you have shortlisted and come to the conclusion this has to be done for each and every paragraph once you follow this strategy i am dead sure you will be able to get at least if there are seven paragraphs six answers correct there could be one incorrect answer but you will be able to solve most of them that's my guarantee start using this strategy from your um, you know next practice test or whenever you practice another test just follow the strategy and let me know if it has worked for you or not that's it for today thank you so much hit the thumbs up button if you have liked this video share it with your friends and also leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you so much